Hey guys, Thomas Hewitt here. So this is just a quick video about me 3D printing Renko. So Renko is a steel fishing trawler that has just been restored by Stu at Dangar Marine and I'll leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel. So go check out all his videos. He's done an amazing job restoring Renko. Um, while you're there, go check out a couple of other channels like Project Brewpeg, uh, Sailing SV Seeker and Acorn to Arabella. They're, um, they're real cool channels and I love watching all your guys' videos. Okay, so this is Renko. Renko is my first 3D print, basically. I've just purchased a 3D printer. It's a it's an end of five plus by Creality. So it's it's one of the biggest 3D printers out there. It prints 350 by 350 by 400. Um, and 3D printing is pretty cheap. So if you if you're into like designing or you know drawing stuff on 3D or yeah, being able to draw it in 3D is one thing, but then to be able to print it and have a look at it is another, it's pretty cool. Like before you go and spend thousands building the real thing. Anyway, uh, I understand it's hard to sort of learn to use, um, you know, to use 3D software, but it's definitely worth learning. Okay, so how did I go about this? Uh, so I printed it in like four different pieces. So we've got the roof, the, the cabin, the wheelhouse or whatever Stu calls it, and then the deck. And so I printed the main hull upside down. So uh, I thought that would be best because if you don't know how 3D printers work, what they do is they lay down plastic in layers and they build each layer up. And like this little model has something like 350 layers. Uh, I had a few fails, obviously. So the first one I made was uh, it didn't have any support structure and it couldn't like bridge the plastic from one side to the other. So what support structure is, is it's just basically a whole bunch of plastic that the printer lays down inside the model so that as it works its way up it has support for the plastic and then i had another fail which was um i tried to print this in one go but then the support structure was stuck inside the cabin and i couldn't break it out and i thought oh, maybe i can get it out the windows but uh, it's just a dumb idea yeah so uh i'll show you the drawing here quickly so i use a program called rhino rhino 6 and basically i just imported some pictures of renko uh, here's Stu, Stu's trying to do some work and um, from the images I basically just drew around them with lines or curves as you call them and from the curves here I just created like surfaces right so if I click uh, the surface tool and I select the curves I want to uh, draw a surface around it'll create a surface so that would become like the side of the boat now, 3D printing is a little bit more complicated than that because in order to 3D print something, you need, um, it needs to be a solid object. So to do that, I use a command called um, offset surface. So, and I'll offset the surface. In my case, I'm going to offset it just by one millimeter. So the that creates the surface to be one millimeter thick. So that would be like the side of, yeah, so it's one, the plastic's one millimeter thick. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else? And then these are the set, these are the different parts. So that's the deck, the roof, and the wheelhouse. And you can see the little windows and stuff. And there's a door there, and there's also a door on the other side. Uh, here's the hull. The hull's upside down. You can see the um, yeah you know, the little prop shaft and rudder and keel and stuff. Now the the propeller itself. Well, that was a bit of a mission. Um, Cause just because it was so small, like if I zoom in here, so <laughs> it was something like three millimeters in diameter. So I ended up like printing five because every time you drop one on the floor, you'd lose it. And that was a bit of a hard case. I had to sort of glue that on uh, separately. Um. Okay. So once I've once I drew the you know the 3d drawing then i um imported it into this software called creality slicer so that came with the printer that what that does is it converts it into a g-code for the printer to sort of to tell the printer what to do and you can it tell it shows you the layers it's quite cool as it builds the model up you can see the support structure on the inside and it tells you the time so this model took 13 hours to print and, and you know it only weighs well uses 114 grams of plastic yeah okay so let's build Renko so 
That's the main hole, obviously, and the deck that's going to get glued in there. And wheelhouse and the roof. And I've got a little engine cover, and then, of course, the little stand. Little, yeah. Oh, I was going to put some plastic in the um, inside the wheelhouse too, so that'll make like the windows clear or whatever. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy it, Stu. And also, I'll send you some paint, Stu, so you can paint it, knock yourself out. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.